Does the thymus gland and uh, mycin gravis have some kind of relationship in some situations? Yes, that ties into the autoimmune nature. And the thymus gland produces antibodies in myasthenia gravis. About 85% um, uh, of patients have some kind of abnormality in their thymus. And about, I think, I may, the numbers might be a little bit off, but they, about 85% of those are thymic hyperplasia, just an abnormal growth of it. And about 15% have a thymoma, so an abnormal growth tumor of the thymus gland. And very rarely, a few percent have a malignant thymoma. Um, Removing the thymus gland in some patients, can that help or cure? Yes, this is very, you have to go to someone who knows what they're doing with myasthenia gravis. So, thymectomy is also a possible treatment for myasthenia gravis, and patients can go into complete remission and not be, need to be on any medication. This is sometimes um, an excellent choice for a young woman who doesn't want to chronically be on those medications. Um, and is healthy enough to go through major surgery. But one of the things you have to remember is the anatomy of the thymus. It's in the neck here, but we know that little pieces of it can be left behind as far down as the bottom of the lung. And so doctors who are familiar with myasthenia gravis and know how to do the surgery have to completely open the chest and look all around for any residual uh, thymic tissue and get that out. And I have seen patients who had thymectomy and definitely had um, some other thymus tissue that wasn't removed. They did, instead of a transdermal approach, they do a cervical approach. So it's not left for a general surgeon, someone who has done this and has had a lot of extra training to do this Yeah, correctly. you know, I, I would send my patient to someone who's done a lot of these. Uh, yes, certainly. I saw a video on uh, YouTube from Mayo Clinic discussing this, and they do it a particular way. So Absolutely. It, after seeing that, I would be very careful, though, would let do it. Yeah. It's not quite an easy surgery. No.